Let your whole body sink as you breathe out. Let it go. Nice and gentle breathing and let your head and shoulders sink into the table. Go let this go. When I'm at the gym, mm -hmm. anytime I'm doing like um, a Romanian deadlift or like anything where I'm bending down, I always feel the need to go to the left. Um, also, I don't think my legs are the same length. Mm -hmm. I used to ride horses and my stirrups would always feel like weird because I don't think they're the same length. My stirrups would be the same length, but my legs felt weird. My mom is the same way. Um, she had a, like a doctor or something tell her that her hips don't line up entirely correctly. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of tension up here mm -hmm. constantly. That's where I hold my anxiety and my stress. Um, one of my model friends, she's a masseuse. Is that how you say it? Masseuse? Massage therapist. Massage is therapist. The, yeah, masseuse is like the shady ones with the... Oh, okay. She's a massage therapist. And she was feeling my back the one day, and she's like, Jeez, girl, you're like, like a rock. Your back's like a rock. And I'm like, yeah, that makes sense because I'm just a very anxious person. Okay. And I hold my stress in my muscles. Okay. My back specifically. Okay, good. Good awareness. So do you ever have any pain? Discomfort? Lower back. Okay. Yeah, especially if I do an exercise the slightest bit off, my back like flares up. Do you ever have any injuries? Do you ever fall off the horse? I've definitely fallen off. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you've never been to Super a chiropractor, nervous. right? Nope, I have not. All right. So let's do this. Let's start off with an exam. Let's look at your spine. And mm -hmm. then after that, I'll get you adjusted. Okay. And then when we do the adjustment, I'll walk you through the whole thing. We'll practice one so you can see what it feels like. Mm -hmm. And then I will make sure that you are completely ready to get adjusted before I do it. Okay. That sounds good. Okay. Looking at the feet first, I don't see any supination on the left or pronation. It looks like there's a possible pronation on the right. And just maybe like a slightly external rotation. Go ahead, come back. But it's symmetrical and bilateral. Otherwise, heel strike, mid stance, and toe off all look symmetrical from left to right. There does seem to be a, a slight possibility of pronation on the right, mild. Okay, looking at the shoulders, there's a high right shoulder and then a corresponding <laughs> head tilt to the right. So right here towards the right shoulder. Go turn around and go back the other way. Good, and then it's confirmed here looking at it from this way as well. So there isn't a symmetry there, but the arm swing looks the same. Because of the high shoulder, there's a slight thoracic asymmetry, and that keeps her arm closer to the body on that side. It's good. Don't even pay attention to what I'm saying. I'm not even talking right now. It's interesting to hear. Hip swing from left to right. It looks like it's restricted moving to the right, and uh, there's more movement moving to the left. I am more flexible in this hip. Okay, looking at the feet, we do have a moderate decrease in the arch on this side. Turn around and face that way again. Yeah, and there's a slight bowing here on the right Achilles tendon, not as much on the left. So a little bit of possible or mild pronation on the right foot and decreased arch on the left. Okay. okay. So we have lopsided feet. Do the, do the Romanian deadlift motion. I feel like my body wants to turn this way. Okay. Go that, more that way. Keep going. Do like 10 of them. Fatigue is probably a factor too and when you're not paying attention to it. Go. I can see it's slightly starting to come back and rotate that way. So okay. an asymmetry in your pelvis is the most likely cause for that, which is what we're going to look mm -hmm. at. Okay, just looking at your spine, I see the high left shoulder here, and then I could see it in your scapula too, but your spine is symmetrical and even. I don't see any curvatures here. We have to recheck this with you standing, mm -hmm. but this looks like it's nice and straight up and down. No major asymmetries here from right to left other than this high shoulder. Sweet. Slightly more prominent back musculature on the right and the mid thoracic spine.
Okay, I'm going to do a temperature evaluation with the back of my fingertips. Okay, very symmetrical. Like this is dry and symmetrical from left to right. Mm -hmm. But then as we come down, I start to feel more drag on this right side. That's also how I would sweat at the gym as well. My lower back gets sweaty and then my upper back doesn't at all. So I don't know if that means absolutely nothing or something. Mm -hmm. Everything, <laughs> means Everything means something. That's true, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to push a little bit deeper into the muscles. Yeah. Here's the rocks. Yep, you feel all the tension I'm carrying. Yeah, but the good thing is, is that it, it actually, there's not a lot of muscular tension here. Like your trap fiber's okay. Mm -hmm. You've got some stuff here. This is levator Oof. scapula, right? Uh -huh. But like your spinal muscles are very symmetrical and they have a good tonicity to it. The mm -hmm. tightness is deeper. It's like in your spine. Yeah, because it's coming from like my heart and my soul. <laughs> mm. It sounds so depressing, but it's true. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna uh, pop at your SI joints, okay? okay? So first I'm gonna place my fingertips on top of your iliac crest, your hip bones right here, okay? Okay, this helps me find the L3 vertebra there, and then coming down all four and five. This is the iliac crest here, and the SI joint here. Okay, any tenderness, discomfort yeah. here? Yeah. How about this left side, any here? Oh, that's ticklish. <laughs> this is ticklish, this is tender. <laughs> yes, ow, ooh. Okay, bring your chin down to your chest. All the way, touching? Yeah, that's good. Okay, now look up. Oh, look up with my eyes or with yeah, my yeah look up with your head good you could bring your ear down to your shoulder good open close open close open okay so this is moving over here but this is slightly more restricted on the ex external and internal rotation yeah there's just like a it's like slightly like spastic over here on the left like it's really working hard in the left lumbar i'm going to trace up the hamstring and find the bottom of the glute fold there so it's slightly lower on the right, and then looking from the top, it's slightly external rotated on the right, so that means your right pelvis is gone like this, but then it moved on the external, but the, the, the left pelvis is like this. It went forward and in. So we're going to look for an ASIN on this left SI joint. Okay, we're still far away from adjusting, okay? Mm -hmm. So you don't have to be nervous yet. We're still going to practice one first. So I need to be nervous for the adjustment too. <laughs> too shy. Good. Right short. Okay, I'm gonna bend your knees now. Don't help me. Just let me do it. Just relax. Mm -hmm. Right short stays short. Left AS. This is ASIN. Okay, do you have any pain discomfort when I push here? Yeah, a little discomfort. How about this left side? Anything there? Not as much. Left. Oh. Right. The left. So just kind of relax. Let me do the work. It's okay. Just relax. Yeah. Nice gentle breathing. Mm. Yeah, I feel that too. Ow. Damn. Do you get headaches ever? A lot. I didn't ask you in the interview. Okay, how often do you get headaches? Um, it depends on how bad my stress gets. Breathing, gentle, sinking in.
Ooh. Owie. Breathe in, breathe into my fingers here. Good, send the breath into this spot right here. Breathe into there. Good. Gentle breathing, sinking into the table. Just feel things letting go. I feel that in my chest. Yeah. I mean, your first rib needs to be adjusted. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's making my chest vibrate. Still? Yeah. Oh, now it's not.
okay Emily let's practice an adjustment first okay and you're gonna take a deep breath in through your nose I'm not doing it yet we're just practicing oh, okay. yeah just practice in through your nose and then out through your mouth I'm gonna follow your breath down like this you're doing good all you have to do is sink into the table got any more relaxed in there good good there that's it right there and then at the end of your breath right there is when we do a little push Okay, nice and gentle, breathing in through your nose. Good, out through your mouth. Good, sinking in, shoulders, hips. Ow. <laughs> no, I did not like that one. What did you not like about it? Uh, I could feel like the, um, I could feel it go through to my chest. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> what didn't you like about that, though? You Not in my chest area. But gotcha. Okay. Yeah. It just comes down to, like, the anxiety. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's that's super valid, Emily. Like, thank you for communicating with me. And, like, mm -hmm. congratulations for having that kind of awareness into yourself <laughs> of knowing... It took years. ...what kind of <laughs> triggers it does, yeah. Yeah. Okay, gentle, 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 gentle breathing in through your nose. And out. Sinking and sink. Good, another breath. Let's do it again. Come and out. Ow. <laughs> My elbow cracked. <laughs> <laughs> you cracked, I cracked. Okay, again, deep breath in, far in as you can go, all the way in. Good. And let your whole body sink as you breathe out. Let it go. Uh, why did I do that to my to my mouth? Because you had air in your lungs and I pushed at the bottom of your lungs. Ah. All right, so I'm gonna bring your shoulders up like this and your hips down like this, and then from right there is where we push. Okay, breathing. <clears throat> and out. Good. Ooh, <laughs> that is a trip. Here to here. Okay, same thing. Breathing in through your nose, not through your mouth. Good. We're gonna do one more breath. Good. Good. Yes. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, turn your head to the right. Center. <laughs> Left. Center. Okay, good. Bring your left ear down to your shoulder. Good. Mm. Left or right? Both. Yeah, that's like almost like shooting up a sensation through my sinus. On both sides. I feel it in my nose. That is wild.
<laughs> That's like a bobblehead. Let's start here in the neck. We're gonna bring this up like this. Over to the side, gently breathing and sinking in, good. And then we're just gonna push like that. So let's do, let's follow the breath in through your nose. And out. Good, gentle, gentle. Bro. <laughs> It's just, it's loud because it's right next to your ear. Did you just do a factory reset on me? Yes. Yeah. We're going to push some. Seven, six, five, four, three. It's all in the middle at five. It's like that Ooh. one. Yeah. Owie. Okay, nice and gentle breathing and let your head and shoulders sink into the table. Go let this go. Oh, I didn't breathe for that, dude. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, it's wild. It feels like my head is floating off my body. Okay, push out. Push out to the side. Push, 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 push. Relax. <clears throat> okay, now hold your knees together. Hold them as hard as you can together, and then I'm gonna pull like this, okay? Okay, go ahead. Hold. Hold. So first we start with the ileocecal valve. This is the window in between the large and the small intestine. Mm. So we find that by first finding the belly button here and the ASIS here, the front of the hip bone. We connect these two points. We start looking in that spot. Terrible, huh? Yeah. Okay, breathe. Okay, we're gonna see if we can get this to release. Good. Wow. Oh, that hurts really bad. Keep breathing. This is all digestive. Keep breathing. Breathe into your belly. Can you breathe into your belly? Good. Out. In. Out. See if you can just breathe into your belly. Good. Just breathe in here. No chest breathing. Good. Good. Send the breath here first. There it goes. Did you hear it? Did you feel it? Again, deep belly breath. Okay, the next one is the pyloric sphincter. This is two inches above the belly button. <clears throat> A little bit, but not as bad. Deep breaths in. This is the diaphragm release. And out.
much, really. Deep breaths into your belly right here. Deep breath. was scared of the most ended up being the thing that I liked the best. It feels like all my anxiety has been like dissolved out of my body. <laughs> Alright, so this is a full spine adjustment. I use the towel here to support your neck like this. And then I'm gonna follow your breath just like the other adjustments. And then when we get to the end of your breath, we pull in that direction like that, okay? Mm. Okay, we're gonna do it gentle. So deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good, keep your teeth together. Good. Ow. That really hurt. Breathe. That pain will go away very shortly. We just move things in a way that have never been moved before, in a direction that has never moved before, and it is okay to feel it. But I did it super gentle, and I could feel that it was perfect. Okay. <laughs> yeah, everything feels good. good. did not want to crack for you. <laughs> Look straight ahead. That was easy. My hand here. No, 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 elbow. Just pull your elbow back. Good, keep pulling. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 